All right, so I'm gonna try to make this short, sweet, to the point. Try to, you know, get this going as quick as possible so that we can get into the normal video. So I took a poll and I think like three or 400 of you guys voted and about 90% of you guys said you wanted an update on this. So here goes, if you guys can see, still got some of the little markings from the hospital. So here's everything that pretty much happened. So last Friday, I'm gonna have to look at the date. I apologize, give me a second here. Friday the 31st, all of this whole ordeal started basically. I, I thought I had the stomach bug. So it started Friday night into Saturday. Sunday, um, I felt it a little bit, still worked through it. Uh, Monday, I felt it, it started to get better on Monday. And then Tuesday, everything was all good. Keep in mind, I'm gonna give a little bit of a disclaimer on this, but basically stomach bug symptoms, you guys know, everything but throwing up. But it was constant, like it was every hour on the hour. I'm not gonna make it, try to make it as least graphic as possible. Tuesday, I woke up, I felt great on Tuesday. I had been taking Imodium for a while there, I think for about a week. Well, ever ever since this whole thing started and um, everything's been fine. I woke up Tuesday, everything was great. I went to the gym, symptoms started happening again and then around nine o'clock that night, I started to have severe stomach pain and and when I say severe, I mean it was, it was pretty bad and I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. But basically what happened is I went to bed around midnight as I normally do. I always go to bed around midnight. My daily schedule is 9 a.m. to midnight every single day and unfortunately I did not sleep at all Wednesday night at all into Thursday. I was up all night, constant in the bathroom. Uh, around four o'clock in the morning, my whole body like started, I, I basically had a rash. They called it uh, anaphylaxis. If you guys wanna look up that, it's basically, a, it, anaphylaxis is a severe whole body allergic reaction to a chemical that has become that has become an allergen. All of this was happening and I, I was in severe stomach pain since like, I'd like to say about 9, 30, 10 o'clock, but me, I ignore everything. I don't like to, like, I'm not one to burden other people with my problems. So me, I ignore it. I, I've, I've been feeling it all night. Anytime I'd lay down, it felt like someone was like ripping my stomach apart. Like just every time I'd stretch out, it just, it was brutal. So I had to like lay in a curled position. Had a rash pretty much all night from four o'clock on my, like 95% of my body. I was entirely red. I'm gonna post some pictures up and put a little disclaimer. It was pretty bad. I didn't get any pictures of it when it was at its worst, but let's just say it was pretty bad. So come Wednesday around one o'clock, pretty much laying on the on the living room floor in pain, whole body is just having an episode, legs twitching, like just everything. Um, so she ended up having to call an ambulance um, because she actually asked me about an hour, two hours before, like she was pushing on calling an ambulance or call, taking me to the doctors. And I was like, no, we're not gonna do that. Long story short, we get to the hospital, everything, everything was like the, Carlisle Hospital is absolutely terrible. The ambulance ride was probably the best thing that happened. Um, you guys can see, so they got me with an IV right here. This vein is still hard from about here to here. I can feel, feel that. And then this side, they, they kind of bruised that one and then they got blood from right here. Uh, so not really a big deal. They got me on medication now. I've waited a little bit to post this because, I mean, they wanted me to rest for quite a few days. I did end up going back to work a little bit Friday, and I started to work Saturday as well. And unfortunately, like, given the situation, I, I'm not supposed to be working. I'm supposed to be relaxing. Uh, last night was my first time actually working out again. And then tonight, I'm going to finally go back to the gym full bore. But that's pretty much all that happened when I was in the hospital they actually released me and every all of the tests were reading low like I was not in the normal area for like any of the tests they did long story short they did not actually figure out what was wrong they just kind of assumed on anaphylaxis and having a severe allergic reaction I had diarrhea in my stomach for they're saying about 12 hours is what they were saying my stomach was so inflamed uh, that it was really bad. I'm actually thankful that I didn't throw up ever. I don't puke for some reason, but I'm very lucky that I didn't because that would have been pretty disgusting. Um, on top of that, uh, my heart rate was the only organ that was actually functioning higher than it was supposed to and everything else was low. Everything was on the verge of shutting down. They said had it been a couple more hours, like definitely wouldn't have made it. Uh, so if it was not for my wife calling, I uh, wouldn't be here. 
but uh, my, my blood pressure was actually very low. My heart rate was very high. Everything else, any organ functions were low. They did a CAT scan or CT scan. I, I don't know all the details. Like I was so out of it that day. But I'm going to put up pictures of that. But basically, thanks to my wife, still alive, uh, still kicking. And thankfully, that I mean, that was a pretty bad time, too, because I had a lot of projects going on. So I actually had to go through, like, I had customer projects going on. And I had my own projects going on. And I'm like, I had to go through real quick and, like, slap everything together, get everything done, just in case something does happen. Uh, I did have a little bit more of the allergic reaction come out today. I had, like, all but right here broke out in a rash today. Um, I got lucky. They gave me two of them little uh, pen thing, or I don't know what the hell they're called. But basically, you're supposed to stick it into your muscle and inject it into you if you have an allergic reaction like that again. But yeah, that's that's basically it. I wasn't breathing right. Um, had to be taken. Like I was all but unconscious in the ambulance ride. It was bad. Um, but enough of that. We're gonna get into the video. Keep in mind, a lot of these clips are out of order. Things have already happened. Things have already been updated. So I've kind of tried to delete a couple of clips that are out of, you know, out of there. But just keep in mind, some of these things aren't going to be in order. And I'm going to do my best to finally get all this stuff in order. So appreciate you guys for sticking around. So keep in mind, I also forgot to mention how terrible Carlisle Hospital was. I was dehydrated the entire time, like lips purple, like cold, dehydrated and she actually had to like force them to finally give me liquids and like fill the IV with that and whatnot because like I didn't have water for quite a long time on top of this so definitely never going to be going back to that hospital the ambulance ride did way more than the hospital actually did and thanks to the ambulance ride but we will uh we'll, we'll see i'll let i'll give you guys an update as soon as we figure out what the bill is here's the situation with this okay about a week and a half ago i took a deposit on this and unfortunately guys run into some financial shit and i still have it because weeks uh videos were about a week behind for a while there so now we're, we're finally getting caught back up it's sunday now it's a beautiful day i got all the or i got all uh the original buyer of this i got all his stuff back here i'm gonna end up putting it all in the camper because i can't store it at the shop i got this box someone uh this is sold cash will be in hand tomorrow and then this i gotta figure out what to do with i was told the trans slips and i drove it and it's complete crap the transmission in this truck is fine it just does have a little bit of a leak uh you can see right about here all right, I forget where we were at is, sorry if I'm repeating because I completely forgot where we at. We're gonna get all this stuff inside there. Everything's good. We're working back and forth trying to avoid anything to do with courts and lawyers and judges and laws and all that. I just got off the phone with him, the original buyer of this. So he's gonna, we're gonna try to come up with my transport fees. And then um, this was, like I said, there was a $300 deposit put on it and he kind of came up to some financial stuff. But again, guy, I remember before I took a deposit on my black truck and people said you should give a deposit back. And that's kind of the whole point of a deposit is if you put a deposit down, you do not get the money back if you decide to back out. That's the whole point of a deposit. You are making a promise to pay somebody and you are paying them for their time. People who understand how business works, that's pretty much it. Keep the transmission flow full and it does run and drive very well. Uh, I did drive it today and it's pretty good. So I know I'm gonna get a bunch of shit on it. It's just one of those. It is what it is, you know? Not super worried about it. I get plenty of critic criticism. Um, I don't know why people still literally watch just to shit talk. I never understood that stuff. I don't have time to watch people I don't like, but I did get it all cleaned out. It runs drives, you fix the trans uh, up there and it does run and drive. So we're gonna drop this off at the house. I did get a plate on it. I got a plate on it so I can drive it around and we're gonna offload his stuff into there. We do need once, uh, I was gonna say, I do need to sell this at some point, but I'm not super worried about it right now because I need to keep get all the stuff in here. So we're gonna get all this stuff offloaded, try to be as gentle as possible, but we are trying to work on something to get uh, all that stuff taken care of. Basically 2,600, pay the transport fees. And then I said, look, I mean, you, you know, pay me another 400, so call it 3,000 even. And I will personally take the stuff back to them and eat the cost and call it a day because it's just one of those. But definitely need to get the money down. All right, so we got everything stored in there. There's the box there. There's all that, all that. So call it good. I also had 
buddy of mine that had a friend that wanted this. Usually he comes through about 75% of the time, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna drive it around for a little bit. Also, I got the floor pieces here. I'm supposed to be shipping these out on Wednesday. I'm still waiting on the cash for these, but he's gonna pay me Wednesday on these. Um, you guys can see I cleaned everything up. I wasn't gonna ship them out dirty like that. I got all the pieces and whatnot for a manual swap. I'm actually gonna throw these in the truck or in here a while. I know everybody on the internet says everything is overpriced. Like this here, fix the rust on it. You know, 20 some thousand dollar truck. It is what it is. These guys over here asking, like, saying truck like this for ten grand. You guys are smoking crack, trying to get these trucks for as cheap as you guys are. I actually posted that mega cab up for sale. If anyone's interested in it, that white one, uh, picture incoming. That one was posted for twenty. They just did a whole bunch of work to it, and guys are saying, "Oh, that's." Every time I post something, everybody thinks or people think it's overpriced. But that's just if you don't have money. I can understand that people think stuff is overpriced, but it's just one of those like. It's worth it. Cookie's trying to determine the market and tell me what my stuff's worth. Also, I just bought this guy here. Weighted vest for the training sessions. Definitely makes uh, makes it a little harder. All right, so I got home this morning at seven o'clock. You guys saw the previous video. If you didn't, I recommend you go watch it. I'm gonna try to open this one-handed. It really, usually I always talk about, you know, trucks and transport and all that stuff. But this time, I don't usually talk about the fitness side of everything and how much I actually put into fitness. So this, monstrosity it cost me about two hundred and eleven dollars this i'll get this box out of the way liam take that box come on slide it there we go weight vest i've been waiting for this forever just kidding i ordered it about a week ago all said and done it was like 210 bucks uh after shipping but, as you know, your boy, holy shit, 35 pounds is heavy. That is a heavy boy. So, I didn't. I underestimated how much uh, 35 pounds actually was. Because like, I do weighted dips and whatnot with uh, 45 pounds. So, this thing is just going to make training so much more intense. Alright, we got her out. I wanted the teal one, but they didn't have it. So, I got the purple-ish one. I did pay full price for this. And, uh... I think it's going to be worth it. I think that this is really going to up the training. This is a 35 pound weighted vest with, if I can pick these up, this is supposed to be super quality. That's why I ordered this one and no other ones. I can actually take the weights out, as you guys can see. So if weights are too heavy, these, oh yeah, these are 2.3 pounds a piece. So we can take weights out if training is too intense. But I've really wanted this ever since I saw it because I've been pract I've been doing calisthenics and we have been doing weightlifting in the gym and powerlifting and whatnot. But calisthenics is really what I wanted to do, and this is just going to take the training to the next level. So I get to start wearing this bad boy, and uh, yeah, this thing's like freaking heavy. All right, so sorry, don't mind the mess and whatnot. But there you go, Liam's wearing it. Here, do do squat with it. Now, how heavy is that? Now, obviously, I got to put this guy back on. He has a tutorial video on how to, like, set everything up, which I'll probably do it on Liam, and then I'll set it up on me. But how heavy? 35 pounds. Um, it's not really bad. Do about 50 reps, and then you tell me it's not bad. I mean, once you do enough reps, it's like, it gets hard. Yeah. 